Alright, what is good kids and teenagers most likely? Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail, the reason you clicked on it, uh, we're going to be recreating Perfect Timing by Navi Metro. Also, I'm going to be posting a lot more on YouTube. I just created a new Instagram account. It's, it's a group account full of a bunch of designers and photographers, producers, artists that I've met over the years. We're going to try and be like the FaZe Clan of music. Alright, yeah, so let's just get right into this video. Uh, I'll talk more about that at the end if you guys are interested. Um, I'm really excited for it. Uh, Griff got a lot of potential. It's a bunch of my favorite designers and musicians, artists, producers, everything. The whole works. So, uh, so to start, first thing I did is I just went through and I looked up uh, everything that I saw in this picture. So, we're going to start. Um, this picture of Nav. We are just going to put this into Photoshop. And mask him out. Uh, I'm also gonna I'm gonna try to do a bunch of tips here. Um, I think my keyboard game is pretty strong. You know what I mean? Uh, keyboard shortcuts and everything definitely increases your workflow and everything. So, um, I'm ready? I'm, I'm using Alt to zoom in with my scroller and spacebar to move it. Now I'm, I'm using the bracket keys here too to make this bigger. Uh, there's three of them right there right away. I'll probably do a video on all my keyboard shortcuts, my favorite ones and everything. Alright, so that's good enough. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to go full into detail here. This, so we got the mask here. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, bring in this uh, pink and purple skyline I found. Uh, and then I'm going to make a clipping mask here. Hold alt and just click the line between the two. It'll create a clipping mask for you. Uh, after that, then I'm going to hold alt here on my uh, PNG layer. And if you just uh, drag, it'll duplicate it. Same thing as command J, but... You have control of the layer right away. Then I'm going to apply this layer mask. Uh, next time I'm going to go to gradient map. Create a black and white gradient. And just move these blacks up a little bit. And our goal here is we just want like, there's just the small details. So like we got his nose there. A couple, uh, some beard hair, glasses. Not a lot of detail, but enough to see a face. So that's what we're going for here. Everything black is going to show up. So I'm just going to drag this white down until there's just like minimal detail here. And we can always turn the opacity down too, so more is better in this case. Let's take that, put it on multiply, turn the opacity down a little bit, that's all you gotta do. Uh, also, if you guys want me to do more tutorials, drop a comment. Uh, the only one I ever did you guys loved, so all 400 of my subscribers right now. Um, after that then, we're gonna do the same thing with the picture of Metro that we have. Same thing here, probably gonna skip through this. Alright, good enough for me. Apply a layer mask. Same exact thing, then I'm going to, uh, oh, I'm just going to duplicate this layer, I think. And put a clipping mask on it. Duplicate that again. Apply the layer mask. Image, adjustments, gradient map. Bring the whites down. Looks good. Put that on multiply. Turn the opacity down a little bit. I'm also going to uh, get rid of his hand here. Kind of center, we'll put Metro underneath. We'll delete. Should be lined up, perfect. All right, looks good, you guys can already kind of see it. We might chop off a little bit of Metro shoulder there. So then after that, we are going to, uh, I'm going to take this, um, this little striped paper texture I found. These are kind of small in the cover. You can see they're barely there. All right, so then I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to make four copies of this. And then I'm going to duplicate it, flip it vertically, stack it, grab both of them, duplicate both of them, flip both of them horizontally. Uh, now we have a bigger image that is seamless. And then I'm just gonna resize this to the whole picture. And then put that on screen. Uh, Control Alt Shift B will be a automatic black and white shortcut for you. Uh, I'm gonna do maximum black so it's darker. And then Control L will be a levels. I'm just gonna turn the whites down so it's just a darker picture. Looks good to me. We don't want too much. So then after that, um, 
I'm gonna fix this guy really quick. Um, which one I'm just gonna desaturate. Delete that one. Copy that one back. All right, so now the city. Uh, I know this is gonna be the hardest part, but if you look in it, I'm gonna grab this. You can see it is both of their hometowns, uh, the Seattle or Toronto Tower, whatever it's called, the St. Louis Arches. Um, so I got a skyline of Toronto and a skyline of St. Louis. I'm gonna fast forward through me masking both of these out here too. Then we're gonna take those. Uh, let me just look at the cover really quick. Uh, looks good to me. Same thing with St. Louis. We're gonna keep that arch in the middle. Uh, take this. Just make a selection of this tower here. Duplicate it. Apply the same mask to it. We're gonna bring it up a bunch. Uh, it's gonna be a silhouette, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fix Metro shoulder here too again. All right, so next up we're gonna make the city here. That black neon. Um, not sure how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna figure something out here. Create a group, uh, duplicate it, merge that group, hide this group, and then we're going to make it a smart object. And I'm just gonna try gradient map here. Oh yeah, I think a gradient map might work. And then we're gonna add some neon colors to this. Uh, a lot of pinks, a lot of blues. We'll throw a teal in there. Doesn't look terrible, I guess. Maybe throw another black in there somewhere. You know, that should be good enough, actually. Then I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Uh, then I'm gonna make this bottom layer black and white. And then we're just gonna put a layer mask on here. Get a soft brush. I'm just gonna mask out this stuff here. And then invert it. Soft light, that didn't look terrible. I'll make this back one a little darker. That's not gonna work. Disable that layer mask and hide this layer. Put this back on normal. And then I'm gonna make a new layer here. Add a clipping mask to that top layer. And we're just gonna make these black. And we're also gonna black out this edge of the city here. Maybe some on the bottom. On the bottom. I'm gonna group them. Let's move that down onto the black, maybe make it a little bit bigger. There we go, that actually looks really good. Uh, I'm just gonna try one more thing. Uh, this two strip is like that color that it looks like, kinda. That's on the wrong layer. Maybe not, maybe not two strip. A little bit, adds a little bit more yellow. That's tough. Uh, next up then, we got the text. I'll be honest, I spent about a half hour looking for the for the fonts for this one. I couldn't find anything. We're just gonna go with uh, Impact, I think. That's always a good go-to. This uh, this font that I'm using actually doesn't look terrible. Um, make it a little bit taller. This font might actually work. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Uh, center that. Make it a little bigger. Fits about the entire... For this retro look here, there's definitely a lot of different ways to do this, uh, but for me, I'm just gonna, or I'm just gonna run a clipping mask, and then it looks like it was almost just drawn on. I'm actually just gonna use the pen tool actually, curve through each letter.
make a selection. I'm just gonna fill it in. And then I'm gonna make a new layer with a little bit of a darker purple here. I'm gonna fill that in too. I'm gonna flip this horizontally just to save me some time. Run that under it, add another clipping mask. Maybe move this one up just a little bit. We don't wanna go too much though. And maybe move this one up just a little bit as well. All right, and then for the text effect here, it's just like a chrome stroke. It doesn't look like there's much bevel emboss in it, honestly. A little bit thinner. Maybe just a little bit of bevel emboss. Not a lot though. Actually, we're gonna put none. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this. Bring this one up. Bring the fill all the way down so it's just the stroke. So if I hide this text, you can see it's just the stroke. That's what the fill will do. Um, so I'm gonna take that down, hide this one, hide this one's stroke, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna rasterize this layer style. So now it is it's just the stroke now. Make another layer here. We're gonna run a we're gonna put a gradient overlay on it. And we're gonna do metals. Right here we got this. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. That looks good. Just this metallic uh, gradient overlay and maybe rotate it just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do the timing. Again, I spent so long looking for these fonts, I couldn't find anything. So we're just gonna run with what I got in my library here. This is as close as we're gonna get with uh, what's in my library. This font is so bad, but we're gonna roll with it. So the effects on this one, uh, there's definitely a bevel and emboss on it. Inner bevel, chisel hard, a decent amount on it actually. We got an odor glow, for sure on there. Maybe an inner glow too. Inner glow is about the same color as this, a little lighter though. That's about all I'm seeing on it. The same color here too, a little bit more white, a lot more opacity. Hold shift and click, it'll make a straight line. It is. I'm gonna make a group with all of my text here. I'm gonna take one of these, I'm gonna double it, and I'm gonna put a clipping mask onto the text. And I'm gonna invert it. I'm gonna put it on multiply. adjustments here I'm seeing is we've got a little bit of a film scratch on it so I'm gonna grab a film scratch out of my GFX pack uh, if you guys are interested in my GFX pack just DM me on Instagram uh, it's $15 I update it once a month fill it with uh, everything I'm I use for cover art textures stickers mock-up film scratches brushes you name it there's a whole bunch of stuff in there $15 it, it's loaded I use everything in here all the time there we go. That is the one I was looking for. Throw that in there. Control Alt B, black and white screen. We're getting rid of some of that cloudiness. We're gonna turn the levels up so that uh, the whites get kind of faded a little more. And we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger. We'll grab the city with it. There we go. Looks good to me. It's not perfect, but it is definitely pretty close. Sorry, I'm so bad at tutorials. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I, I can't talk. I can't multitask. So talking and doing stuff for me, uh, it's tough. Um, but the uh, so the group design team that I set up, uh, nine to five production is the name. Uh, check us out on Instagram. I'll throw a link in the description. It's me and about 10 other members right now, give or take a couple. Uh, I want as many artists on my group as I can get. I want to get our name out. I want to get our artist names out. I want all of us to get paid. 
you know what I mean? So the concept behind it is that I want to be able to provide everything that a record label could for their artists. So starting from the beat to the artist on the track, the cover art, uh, any promo pictures, photo shoots, anything prior to the release, um, a music video when it does release, everything that would be included in what a, a record label could do. I want to be able to have my team be able to do that independently, but as a group. All of our prices are relatively cheap. If I believe you have talent and I see your potential and you put work in and you're dedicated, most of the time I'll do my cover art for almost free. I just want to help artists get their name out there, get the recognition they deserve if they put in the work. Absolute number one goal is to have that work get paid off. So if you're an artist, uh, if you're a designer, most likely you're a designer if you're watching this, if you know any artists, anybody that you think could benefit me and my team, uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram, drop a comment. Uh, somehow I have 400 subscribers, so appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you guys want more speed arts, more tutorials, more remakes, more... Um, tips and tricks and photoshop anything but now that we are done with all that if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a thumbs up leave a comment if you want to see more of these uh let me know uh if you have any tips or tricks that you could teach me or anything that you thought i could have did easier on here you know I, i'm always looking for ways to improve my work so if you guys got any tips let me know i'm not a professional you're probably done watching by now but if for some reason you're still watching this i appreciate it sorry that it took so long sorry i'm so bad at talking i don't know hope you guys enjoy your day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.